Katie from Beauty and Boutique and today I'm going to share with you my makeup artistry secrets for getting a more defined lip shape and if you wish a fuller looking lip and it's really simple all you need is a lip liner, a lipstick and a lip gloss. Top tip, line your lips. If you haven't lined your lips before now is a great time to try because by lining your lips you're really going to accentuate the natural shape of your lip as well as making your lipstick look that little bit more professional. So what I like to do is choose a lip liner that's just a shade or two darker than the lipstick I'm going to apply. Now I've got a couple of tips to share with you so you can get the best line possible. The first one is to make sure that your lip liner is sharp because this will really help create a thinner, more delicate line. The second tip is to rest your pinky finger on your chin and this acts as a stabiliser. Now, when you go to line your lip, you want to start from the cupid's bow and go out one side and then the other. And then when you go to the lower lip, you're going to start from the middle and go to the corner and the corner. Now, I also want you to just press the lip liner very delicately against your lip. You don't need to go too hard. By going delicately and almost feathering the line in little lines to create one fluid line, this is much, much easier. So have a look at your lips and really look at the outer edge of the lip. You don't want to draw over your lip line unless you're feeling super confident to do so. What I like to do is just make sure I'm going on that real edge, almost like the rim of that lip shape line. So let me show you. Can you see how I'm feathering? I'm actually not doing a fluid line because by feathering, you get a much more easier, more perfected line. Now the reason I've said use a lip liner that's one to two shades darker than the lipstick you're going to wear is because to create this beautiful full lip, we're going to create the illusion of the lips being slightly lighter in the middle and then gently going out to a darker shade. And what this does is it creates a really beautiful full looking lip. So you don't have to be super confident with makeup to do this, it really is so easy. So once you've drawn your lip line, you're simply going to feather in little lines downwards from the line that you've created. So can you see, I'm just taking my lip pencil and doing little lines downwards, but I'm leaving this part of the lip free from any lip liner. Don't worry if it's not neat because once you put your lipstick on, it's all gonna smudge together and it's gonna look really, really lovely. And then I'm gonna give you a final tip at the end, really sensible. Next, you're gonna get your lipstick and you're gonna apply the lipstick over the top, all the way over the lip line that you've just drawn into the, more towards the center of the lip. So you're not gonna put the lipstick over the kind of edge of the lip, but you're gonna fill the body of your lip, like so. And because the lipstick is balmy and moisturising, you can smudge your lips together and this blends in the lip liner. If you have a concealer or a foundation that's slightly lighter than your skin tone, I want you to put your finger into the concealer so you've got a little bit on your ring finger on, on your pinky finger and then you get a dab that in the middle just kind of there that part you lit there a little smudge and what this has done is it's almost created the center of the lip looking a little bit lighter and then around the outer corners of the lip it looks a little bit more shaded and what this is doing is creating fullness it's creating the illusion of a fuller lip now if you want to go one step further you can go back for your lip liner and shade in a little bit more around the edges just to intensify how light it looks in the middle the trick is is that you smudge your lips together so it doesn't look like you've obviously done this 
it just looks like it's your lips, only filler. Then you're gonna get your lip gloss and you're just gonna dab this into the center of your lips where you put the lighter concealer. And the reason we do this is because you want the attention of the eye to go to the center of the lips. So it almost really enhances that lightness and makes it almost look a bit kind of like a bee stung lip. Also, if you're not a fan of lip gloss, perhaps you find that your um, hair gets stuck in it, by just putting it into the middle, that avoids that problem and it's a lot more kind of easier to wear. I hope this helps and I hope you've in I've inspired you to try something new with your lips today and I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye!